Hello, this is Joe Abenanti at the Valley Library Consortium. Welcome to our screencast training series on Horizon Online Forms. In this section, we'll go over creating a new collection code using the VLC's website online form. The VLC's website it can be found by the address valleylibrary.org. If you're on the home page, go over to Member Resources, and go down to Forms, and then go over and then go over to the collection code form, highlight that, and click on that. Horizon Collection Codes. Collection codes group related items that are shelved together within the library. Examples are fiction, nonfiction, science fiction, mystery, etc. To request a new collection code, fill in the following fields. And the fields that are marked with a red asterisk are required. First, library name. Choose your location, scrolling down and finding it, highlighting it, and click on it. Then fill in your name. Next, you're going to be indicating whether you're adding, changing, or deleting a record. We do not delete codes. We save them for historical statistical reasons. And if you need to actually discontinue using a record, we'll go over that at the very end of this session. So in this case, we're going to go down and click on Add. Collection code. This is where you're going to enter the alpha or alphanumeric code of not more than seven characters and it must begin with your branch alpha code. Description. This is a further description of the code that you are adding. We'll begin with the alpha designation. Scroll down, pack description. This field displays in the public access catalog. This field cannot be left blank. Put here what you want your public to see when they access the public catalog. Next is spine label description. This is the description that will print on your spine labels. The code can contain up to eight characters. And if you want it in all caps, then you must type it that way type it in exactly as you want the spine label to print. Next is spine label set. Now if you're printing spine labels, you need to indicate the spine label set that you are currently using. If you don't know what that is, you can indicate in the notes section, please use our current spine label set. In most cases, it will be cat one. If you're unsure of what your spine label set is, indicate that in the notes. Call number index. If the items in this collection are to be indexed, then select yes. There are certain reports that will gather statistics based on whether or not these codes are indexed or not. And so if you want those reports to reflect that statistical information, you need to tell us to index this. So in this case, we'll say yes. Average replacement, that's the amount charged as a replacement cost if no price exists on the item record. Miss Shell report. If you use Horizon Inventory, then you would enter a yes if you want those items in this collection reported as misshelved on the Inventory Exceptions Report. If you don't want those items to show up, then enter a no. So we'll enter a yes here. Notes to VLC staff. Here is where you could indicate, for example, you're unsure of the spine label set. you filled in all the appropriate information, click on the Submit button. There is a message. To complete this form, complete the word verification below. So let's scroll back down. And now, under word verification, you'll type in those characters as you see them in this red box. And then click on Submit again. So let's type in those characters. on submit. This time we receive the message, thank you, your submission has been received. To go back to deleting, if in fact you want to delete a collection code, you would go down to delete, click on that, put in the appropriate code that you want to delete, and then under description indicate do not use. 
And then you might want to indicate a note to the VLC staff regarding this code deletion. And then click on Submit. And that concludes this section on adding a collection code.